Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the second video on Swift and before we get started with anything major in Swift programming, minimum thing that we have to do is set up the development environment and we will have a look in this particular video on how this needs to be done on all the major operating systems that we typically work with. So let's have a first look at Mac OS X. All you have to do is you have to install Xcode and Swift on your machine. You can visit App Store and in the App Store you have to search for Xcode and it is this particular Xcode that you need to install. The latest version that right now I can see is 9 which supports Swift 4. Download Xcode. It comes with built-in support for the Swift. If you install this you are pretty much set up for the Swift development as far as Mac machine is concerned. And once you start the Xcode this is the window that you will typically see. You can do development for iPhone and iPad but this particular course is not about iPhone and iPad development. That is also something that you can do using Swift but that is not under the scope of this particular tutorial because when you get into iPhone development or iPad development you may start talking about how do I change the orientation of the device, what happens when the orientation changes, how do I click a button, how do I scroll. So those are all important but those are important from iPhone development perspective. They are not important from Swift development perspective. So we will stick to a pure Swift development in this tutorial at least for now. So of course you can create a separate Swift project and get started with implementation but at least initially we will see something called as Swift Playground. This is the place where it is a sandboxed environment you can create simple Swift code snippets and see how the Swift works. So you can just give any name here. You can select the platform. You could have selected anything here. So I am keeping it default that is iOS and you can give a name say code tutor Swift playground. Click on next and say create and done. Here we can write snippets of code and see how the behavior of the Swift looks like. Whatever that I am going to write here, let me say print hello Swift. The Swift debugger basically reads this particular line, evaluates that particular line and then prints the output immediately here or here and then it will continue to look for the next line of item that you are going to write and once again go in this particular continuous loop. That is why it is called as REPL which is read evaluate print loop REPL and you can do this even in a terminal. If you open a terminal and you can say Swift it will start a LL debugger and if you write anything here a valid Swift statement it is going to read it, evaluate it and print the output and wait for the next statement. Well, this works perfectly fine if you have Mac machine. But what if you don't have a Mac machine? So let us see now how to do it in Windows. There is a Swift for Windows as well. You can download the Swift executable file which will install the Swift development environment and it will help you to write Swift program and execute it. Another major operating system would be Linux. If you just visit swift.org website you will see a section where you can download setup files for Ubuntu Linux. You can just download these Swift versions and get started with the development on these different operating systems. And if you are still struggling with how to do the development and you just want to do a little bit of practice on Swift you can do it on the World Wide Web on the browser based systems and there are quite a number of them. You can just do a Google search on online Swift playground where you can write a simple Swift code and execute and see what happens and you will get a Swift playground behavior in the browser based environment. There is a IBM Swift sandbox where also you can do Swift development. So there are various options as far as Swift development is concerned. If you have a Mac machine that is very well and good but if you don't have a Mac machine you can still do Swift development and in the tutorial I will be using Xcode playground to demonstrate concepts of Swift. So stay tuned for the next video where we will actually start writing some serious stuff and start discussing the Swift concepts. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.